So we've got another evolution. It is going to be our lovely Power Surge. So this is going to take anybody or at least an 80 overall and give them a plus three. So for instance, if we was to go it, we can go with an inform if we really want and we can take him to an 82. A power, okay, 82 is the max. That's fair enough. So there is obviously limitations to it. You can only get up to a freestyle weak foot. Um, oh, in fact, you know what? We'll go into footbin first because... There's going to be limitations and it's going to be in loads of different things. Let's see if we've got it here. So the total upgrade is a plus six. Okay, that makes sense. So you could, the best you can get is obviously an 82. So the maximum upgrade is a 76, I want to say. So if I was to go all the way down to a 76, let's just go prem because that's going to take too long. Uh, let's go to a 76 and see if I am right with that mass. I think so because that's four for the 80 and then two. So there should be that any of your 76 rated players should go to an 82 if I'm nearly there. Right. Okay. So let's go Murphy. Perfect. So it does take them up. So again, it's going to be interesting. I feel like there's going to be a lot of headache with all this. So max is 82 overall. Max 77 shooting, 82 dribbling, 76 physical, 85 on the pace, 78 passing, 77 dribbling, and 3 on the weak foot. So if he's got a freestyle weak foot, it won't go up. If he's got a 4, it won't go up. But it'll go up for a plus 1 or 2. Okay. If you need coins in FC25, lootbar.gg has you covered. They are the cheapest trading platform on the game. 8 to 10% cheaper than any others. 8% off if you use the code JT11 at the end at checkout. Plus, you get 5% extra on coins. With the fastest delivery system going. Used by many FC25 creators such as Zorki, Manny Plus, and even Pro Owners. So if you need any coins, head over to lootbar.gg. Make sure JT11's in the promo code and... Hopefully you enjoy. Oh, I suppose. I was going to say, I don't get why they've got the max pace then. Because obviously, if he's got a maximum of 85, it won't go up. But obviously, everything else will. And then you've got the max 86 dribbling. Okay, I I'm, I'm interested. So already, I did see Barcola in this. What does he go to? Is it just defending he gets? Oh, so he gets 76 on the shooting, 69, 78. So he's got 77. So he gets 77 shooting, 78 passing. And I've just clicked on the wrong player. 77 shooting, 78 passing. Dribbling goes up by one. And physical goes up by like five. I mean, it's not terrible for him. It's going to be an interesting one, truly, to, to see what these best options are. Like, obviously, Felix will go up to 85 pace. 78, 78, 84, 72. So he'll have the same shooting, one passing. 82, 8 to 11, 84 dribbling still. And then physical goes up to 76. He will get a plus 5 on that. So, okay, I, I quite like it. There, there's definitely a lot to, to kind of really think about here. If we was to go over then to see, let's go foot.gg because normally they have the best players. So we've got, okay, Chambers... Okay, that's interesting. Now, what about Foot Wiz? Do they still have it going on? They've still not changed since <laughs> FC20. Okay. I was going to say, I was like, there's no way. So we haven't... Oh, okay, so they've not got the actual pop popular evolutions yet. That is absolutely fine. So, in fact, I do prefer Footbin if they've got it because it's just it's what I'm used to. So, obviously, Kobe Mainu can go into this. The big thing as well is... Going through other through other evolutions as well. If you've not done any of the evolutions at this point, then going through a few different ones could be interesting. Like with Kobe Mainu especially, we've obviously got quite a few. Like we can go the octopus into from box to box. That takes him to an eighty four, um, an eighty three. So there's loads of different ways that you could actually take him up here now, which is going to be very very interesting. So. I'm, I'm interested in general to see what these cards can actually do. So, player-wise, you got Diego Carlos. I'm thinking if we've got... What, what was the big upgrade for him? So, he gets shooting, dribbling, physical, defending, passing, pace, and weak foot. What is it for? Power Surge. Supercharger player of your choice with an all-round stat boost. Okay, so center mid could be the shout, really, for that then. If, if it's an all-round, I'm thinking center mid most definitely. Or CDM, it kind of makes sense. So if we were to go more of a midfield role, we'll kind of have a look at everybody else. 
we were obviously looking at 82 as a max, really. We can see Basuma, Daily Blint, Edison, Endo's obviously in there as well. It's quite weird having to go all the way down also because obviously you're so used to just picking the top ones and going to the top of the ratings. But the fact now they've got max rate, uh, max overall upgrade, it, it does make a whole different way. Obviously, you've got Cunha, uh, Decore. It's definitely going to be a way to, to really whittle down people's evolutions here. Zhao Neves, obviously we're going down into the, the 79s now. I don't know whether people are just going straight out Prem, to be honest. I don't think there'll be a big deal with this one. Like, it's it's a good upgrade, but it's not necessarily like a, an out-and-out, out, you need to do this one. Like, you, you can do this one, and it will give you a little bit of an upgrade on some cards, but it's not necessarily going to be that crazy upgrade when we do have a few different ones as well. So you could go... Ooh, Timo Werner, though, go from Power Surge to Ultimate Edition Evolution. If you've obviously got that, take him into the 82, into an 84. Four-star, three-star, which is what he already had. Pace-wise, is not going to be upgraded, obviously. Neither is shooting, but passing is. Dribbling will get a two. Then we get a good five on the physical. And then we obviously get another upgrade on the 84. That could be worth a shout, most definitely. So, obviously, that's an Ultimate one. 83 would be Power Surge Intro to Stat Limits. Again, that's quite a nice one. I think definitely he would come in quite well. When we look at the popular evolution, I don't think we're going to get any just yet. Oh. Okay, maybe we are. Fair enough. So we're looking at, obviously, Endrick. Doku's obviously there as well. He'll get a bit more on the pace because he is one-off being okay. I wonder, can you go for something? Else? Oh, he's got an 87. What's the difference? 11 on the shooting, 7 passing, 2 dribbling, 9 physical. I mean, if he was to go 83, that's what I mean. Like, I know I know he could be upgraded, which is fair enough, but the difference in that is, is nuts to think that card is going to be a million for a while. Yet, you could do 2 free evolutions and get him close. Not crazy, but close. He doesn't even have a skill move or weak foot upgrade either. That's just criminal. Who else did get the upgrade then? Because they're, they're going to be... Who's the lower ones? I know Bellingham got one. Watkins obviously not in it. Frimpong. Uh, Andre. Okay, so nobody nobody else. Sesco's obviously up there as well. It is predominantly Doku from evolution standpoint. Who else is in there? Obviously, Endrick, we knew he's going to be focused in all of them, to be honest. Um, same as I can imagine, we might find a Yamal at some point as well. You've got Ansu Fati, Garnacho, obviously, up there. Barcola was naturally a big one. Joey Gomez, couldn't argue with him, to be fair. He's, he's looking pretty good on a few of these evolutions now, actually. Uh, Kone, Felix, Menu, Bisek is obviously, yeah, he's bringing himself in. That could be a good centre back choice. I bet he can go up a couple, surely. Is it just an 82? I know he'll have a few that he can do, but he'll be another one that definitely is worth, at the minimum, having a look at in any of the evolutions, to be honest. And it's just kind of planning your route from here. Now we've got quite a few. I can imagine they will start to do more and more now the game is fully out. Renato Sanchez wouldn't be a bad option. Now he's at Benfica, it is what it is. Uh, Gonachu, Guendouzi, El Shawari. So it is predominantly a lot of the same names, to be honest. Colwell as well. Oscar Bob. Love it. And I think that's kind of about it, really. The ones that, are, that that stand out are at the top, really. So I'd say Mainu looks really good in terms of most evolutions. Endrick's just the big name there, of course. Doku has got an upgrade in terms of a road to the knockout. But to be fair to him, I would say go and do the evolutions instead. Werner looks good. Garnacho will obviously have quite a few. Ansu, again, nice starter one. Felix, Barcola. Gomez as a centre-back with Bisek. And then I would say uh, Renato Sanchez for that off-league sort of vibe. So let me know down below what you think about it. Again, another good evolution that's coming in free. We have got the road to the knockouts, as you can see. So if you are lucky enough to pack any of them, obviously everybody's looking for that big boy Bellingham. Let me know down below what you think about this evolution. And I will catch you all for the next one. Peace. Don't forget your Evo Lounge.